What is up everybody? I'm Jeff Teague. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, and today I'm talking 2022 Highlander. Let's get more specific. Peel off the layers of the onion a little bit. We've got the Highlander XSE. This is all wheel drive, and this one is XSE front wheel drive, but that's not the only difference. This is an interior color choice, and this is an interior color choice. So let's walk around these Highlanders. XSE all wheel drive. This is in silver metallic. It has the 20 inch two-tone wheels. It has sport tuned suspension, still has 3.5 liter V6 engine with 295 horsepower, 263 pound-feet of torque. You'll know it's an XSE because of the very unique grill. Honeycomb, horizontal slats. Ooh, fancy. Over here now, blueprint. Honeycomb, horizontal slats. It also has that silver metallic accent LED fog lights, headlights, daytime running lights. Different dynamic when you go with a different color, isn't it? This one is front wheel drive. That means it operates like a front wheel drive vehicle all the time. Look at that blue popping in the sun. It's popping, popping some bottles. And then we've got those too. This one right here, the AWD all wheel drive. AWD, yeah, you know me, with dynamic torque vectoring with multi-terrain select dial. Cha-chong, cha-chong. So what that means is it operates like a front wheel drive vehicle until it needs it, then it could send additional torque, not just to the front and the back wheels, but it could send it to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left, as needed to the back wheels. So all of the vehicle wheels are able to get as much traction as possible. If you go with the all-wheel drive, your fuel mileage will combine to 23, 20 in the city, 27 on the highway. And if you go front-wheel drive, 24, 21 in the city, 29 on the highway. So this is what we need to ask ourselves, my friends. Do you want to pay 2,000 less and have front-wheel drive, or do you want to pay 2,000 more and have that all-wheel drive capability? Great for snow, rain, mud, sand, any of those type of situations that you might get yourself into where you need optimal traction, you make the call. So let's look inside the interior of the all-wheel drive. This is gonna be black with some gray mixed in. 50 shades of gray, really. It's gonna be second row captain chairs. Do you like the pattern? It's soft text on the outside fabric sport on the inside. I like that gray stitching. And it's got room to go back to that third row back there that you can either have up or down. If you want more cargo space, put it down. Want more passenger space? Keep it up. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. And then you can adjust the seats to fold, to go forward and backward, all that jazz. We've got seat pockets here. We've also got rear temperature controls I like that and then rear USBs as well now the air where does the air flow up top Girl Scout up top Girl Scout and then it goes right there and comes down for the second and the third row look I see a sunroof actually Jeff you're in a Toyota let's call it a moonroof okay deal so look here we've got this nice seating and it's a choice that a lot of people would make a lot of people like a black colored interior especially if it's got some character with these gray accents. Really quite nice. And then what do we have here? We've got snow mode, downhill assist, engine start stop, traction control on and off. Comes with electronic parking brake, brake hold. And then this right here, we've got mud and sand, rock and dirt or normal modes, sport, normal, eco. I like that. All right, and USBs in the front, three of them, baby. Then here we've got our wireless charger for 2023. This is gonna be right there. So that'll be a change. Make that change. We've got our multimedia touchscreen here with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa, leather wrapped steering wheel. I feel like I'm gonna be saying the same things in the next interior choice. This one is a whole different dynamic. It's got red, cockpit red, oh yeah. And I like it because it's subtle. It's not dominated by red. 
It's not dominated by black color. It's dominated by a mix of everything, but either way it looks super freaking cool. Is that a technical term that an auto reviewer would use? Super freaking cool, man. All right, so see, this one has the sport, the normal, the eco, the drive modes, but it does not have the downhill assist control, does not have the mud and sand or rock and dirt dial. Dirt dial. Wow. Look at that accent right there. I like the detail. It's really cool. Just needs to be washed. Standard moonroof. Okay, so do you like this? As we go to the back, keep thinking about it. Maybe leave a comment. All right. Ooh, that is nice. You know what else is nice? The fact that you've got these shades so we can throw some shade just like that. Oops, 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 oops. One thing that's interesting to me is the third row. That actually does not have red seats. So let's, come on, Jim, get in there. All right. Has black seats. Very interesting, but that's what it is. So how do you like this? This has the power tailgate, lift gate, has 16 cubic feet behind the third row. And then if I want to put down these, I'm kind of vlogging, just like my buddy TRD John, we're vlogging. Look at the room that opens up there. Let's look at the window sticker, front wheel drive right here. Made in Princeton, Indiana, along with Sienna. Blueprint with cockpit red interior. What a great choice. Excellent safety ratings. Really good fuel mileage. Here we go. Just stop the video whenever you want to. It has Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 plus. That way you can look on your own and find information that you think is interesting. It has 14 bottle and cup holders. That's crazy. Crazy. All right, look here, 42,650. It has no factory options on this one. Does it have regional assembly port options? Destination charge? This one does. Yours might have more, yours might have less. You can request them, not request them. It's up to what you and the dealer work out. And then this one right here as it stands is 46,3 front wheel drive. Let's look at the all wheel drive one. Starts at 2,000 more, remember? Silver metallic with the black interior. Same assembly place, Indiana, Princeton. Now this one's gonna have, under mechanical and performance, the all-wheel drive with dynamic torque vectoring. And then this one's 44.6, no factory options. This one right here has gonna have similar options. And then down here we'll get to 48.2. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Which one are you interested in? All wheel drive, front wheel drive, red interior, black interior, I don't know. It's up to you, but I'd love it if you left a comment and just tell me which one you're interested in. Thanks for watching. I'm on two channels, Toyota Jeff Reviews and Auto Jeff Reviews. And then you'll find me YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at both platforms, all three platforms. See you next time.